And the book we're going to read today is Henry's Important Date by Robert Quackenbush. Dear Henry, please come to my birthday party next Sunday. It is from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Don't be late, love, Clara. On the way to his friend Clara's birthday party, Henry the Duck got caught in traffic. Oh dear. The traffic jam got worse and worse. Henry did not want to be late because he had Clara's birthday cake, but the party was to start at two o'clock and it was already 10 minutes to two. Mm, look at all the cars. A big city. At five minutes to two, Henry saw a parking space and began parking his car. He thought that if he ran to a quieter street, he would find a taxi to take him to the party. Taxi's like an Uber. At exactly two o'clock, Henry's car was parked. Then he remembered that the birthday cake was inside. So were his keys. He had locked the keys and the cake inside the car. Oh, Henry. At eight minutes after two, Henry tried to pry open the window. The window broke. Stop in the name of the law, called a police officer. He thought Henry was a car thief. So Henry showed the officer his license. It said Henry the Duck. The policeman let him go. At 20 minutes after two, Henry ran to get a taxi, but everyone was full. See, every taxi has people in it. Or animals in it, I suppose. When a bus came along at 2.30, Henry decided to take it. He climbed aboard and heaved a sigh of relief. At last, he was on the way to Clara's party. Maybe he should have taken the bus from the beginning, right, Cece? But suddenly, at 20 minutes to three, the motor sputtered and then stopped. Henry waited and waited for the bus to go again. Hmm. <gasps> Look at Henry's face. He's getting very nervous. Henry wondered if he would ever get to Clara's party. The party would be over by five o'clock and it was already 15 minutes to three. At three o'clock, the driver opened the bus doors. Everybody off, he said. This bus is out of order. Henry went to call Clara to say he was on his way, but he couldn't find a phone. This book was written before there was cell phones, so Henry couldn't call on a cell phone. Oh dear, look at Henry. At 12 minutes after three, Henry decided the only way to get to Claire's was to run, but as he went tearing down the street, he bumped into a shopper carrying a lot of packages. Kaboom! Look at the kitty cat that Henry ran into and look at all the packages that are falling. Henry helped the shopper pick up her packages at 20 minutes past three. Then he ran on with his own. The shopper thought Henry had one of her packages. Stop, thief, she cried. Stop! A crowd began chasing Henry and caught up with him at 25 minutes after three. A police officer was called. It was the same one as before. Hmm. What's going on, Henry? At 3.30, Henry opened the package to show that it was his. When the shopper saw the cake, she said she was sorry about the mistake. Once again, the policeman let Henry go. Henry ran as fast as he could. At 10 minutes to four, Henry got to Clara's apartment house. He jumped on the elevator and pushed the button to Clara's floor. But halfway there, the elevator got stuck. Ah, oh, could you have worse luck, Henry? Henry pushed the bell for help. A mechanic came to help him at four o'clock. See, the mechanic is helping him get out. At 4.30, Henry was out of the elevator. He raced up eight floors but to Clara's apartment and rang the bell. Clara opened the door. At last, he's at Clara's house. Happy birthday, Clara, said Henry. I'm sorry I'm late. Late, asked Clara, surprised. But Henry, my birthday is not until tomorrow. And that's why it's Henry's important date. And that's why he made a big mistake, because he did it all on Saturday instead of Sunday. Poor Henry. Oh, well, he'll go back tomorrow for Clara's birthday. The end.